Now that is what we expect to see when you play the Oakland Athletics. The Blue Jays score in multiple innings. They score 12 runs and they win 12-1 in the finale against Oakland and win the series. They were the final two games of it. Albeit, yes, they should have swept, but could have, should have, would have. You can't do it. You worry about what you do that day. And the Jays went out there today and they did a job. Kikuchi was great. Obviously, it's not a great lineup you're facing, but he was out there. He was dominating and he wanted that seventh inning more than anything, right? Giving Schneider the whole, hey, I got one more in me. All right, I'm good to go. And he went out there and shoved through seven, his longest outing as a Blue Jay. So really good job from Kikuchi. However, in the very first inning and fitting, it's George Springer leading off the ball game, a 1-0 pitch and doing what George Springer does best. Gave up a lot of long balls early in the majors and he just gave up another one. How about that? Soaring to deep left field. George Springer with a leadoff home run. He is one of the best leadoff men in Major League history. And now he stands second most in career leadoff home runs. And with that leadoff home run for George Springer, it is, as you saw on the graphic at the bottom corner, 55th leadoff home run in his career, and that passes Alfonso Soriano for second all-time, just trailing Ricky Henderson by a lot. But the Blue Jays are in flight, and it's a one nothing start to the ball game. All right, really good. Get a lead early after Kikuchi throws up a zero in the first. You're buzzing a little bit, right? Good, good stuff. And they weren't done in the first, though. And by the way, Yuri uh, Ruiz in center field, man, he was bad. Or SC Ruiz. I don't know why I was calling him. Anyways. You know, Vladi hits a single to deep center field. Witt ends up coming around to score on the air. Just a horrific play from Ruiz. And the Jays got a 2 nothing lead in the first. A really good start to the ball game. You go to the bottom of the second inning. And Georgie grounds into a double play, which is painful. But a run does come across as Espinal scores, making it 3 nothing Blue Jays. We go to the bottom of the third inning. And on a strike three from Kevin Kiermaier, Matt Chapman comes in to score because on a wild pitch. Quite ugly stuff, but the Blue Jays continue to tack on. It's now 4 nothing. Top of the sixth inning, Tony Kemp hits a solo shot off of Yusei Kikuchi. Lefty on lefty shot. But again, with Yusei as dominant as he was, bases are empty for the most part. He's going to allow a solo shot. That's fine by me when you're up 4 nothing. Bottom of the sixth, George Springer just misses a home run. Kevin Kier- Kiermaier comes in to score, making it... 5-1 Blue Jays, and then the bottom of the seventh inning is where things get really blown wide open. They had Trevor Richards warmed up in the bullpen, but they also had Trent Thornton beside him. Man, I haven't seen Trent Thornton in so long. But um, you see him warming up, and you're thinking to yourself, well, hey, you know, if you score any more runs, make it a 5-6 run game, then it makes sense to bring out Trent Thornton and not Trevor Richards. Well, Santiago Espinal drills one to center field, and again, Ruiz yeah, it just looked like a rough fruit of the ball. He was ca- he's a fast guy. Looks like a catchable ball. He can't do it. It's a ground rule double. Uh, in comes Vladdy. In comes Bo Bichette. And Vladdy got on base. Or was it? No, hold on. Was Vladdy on base for that? Or was the Kiermaier in the sixth? Where it was a line drive basically right at him. But he, he, he really took a horrible route to the baseball. And Kiermaier gets the third and the triple. It was just ugly, ugly baseball in center field. Anyways, the Jays scored two on that play. And it makes it 7-1. So you then see, you know, Trent Thornton comes out, and then you see all the other guys. But in the bottom of the eighth, the Blue Jays really start to tack on. You know, Bo Bichette hits an RBI single to left field. Danny Jansen comes in to score. Vladdy grounds to third base. I don't know. How, it was an awful throw to second. So Vladdy ends up being saved at first on the relay toss, or on the fire throw to first because he had to set himself to the second baseman. So he's safe on the RBI ground out. In comes George Springer. And then Kevin Biggio comes up. And a 98 mile an hour fastball, uh, fastball, middle up, and he hits a three run shot. In comes Vladdy, in comes Matt Chapman, and the Blue Jays make it 12 1. Throttling of the Oakland A's, but again, you're supposed to do that. Makes that first game a little bit more painful, but you take it for what it is. You enjoy this game today because this team really, really needed this. All right, let's get to these numbers. George Springer went two for three with two runs scored, two RBIs, a home run, and a walk in the game. So it would have been a great day in the office for George Springer. 
Uh, Bo Bichette went two for five of the runs scored and an RBI. Good day for him. Vladdy, another multi. I think in every game in this series, he had a multi-hit game. Yep, every game he had a multi-hit. And an extra base hit yet again for Vladdy. Two for five with two runs scored and an RBI. And the last one that he hit was like 109 off the bat over the right fielder's head. So a really big shot there. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Matt Chavin walked twice and scored both times. Kevin Biggio, two for four with a run scored. Three RBIs on the home run that he hit. He also walked once as well, raising his batting average above the Mendoza line at 202 now. And everybody else had a hit. Every single player that played in this game today got on base. Everybody but Tyler Heineman came in to score once. A team effort. What did we say going into the series? A feel-good series. A confidence-boosting series. Because this team needed that. And they got it. It took the finale to... Re- it took yesterday in the finale to really get it. But they got it done. 11 hits for the Blue Jays today. 9 strikeouts. They walked 9 times as well. And they did their job. But Yusei Kikuchi did a phenomenal job. 7-2 and two now on the year. Like I mentioned earlier, his best outing as a Blue Jay. And you could arguably say his best two outings as a Blue Jay. You could dating back to the last start against the Marlins. Because let me, ref- let, me, let, me, let me do some math here right, live with you guys. He has gone 13 innings in those two games combined. All right? 13 innings. Four hits. One run. Two walks. And 14 strikeouts. Pretty damn dominant. Now, yeah, Miami isn't the most prolific offense, and definitely Oakland isn't either. But you got to go out there and you got to do a job. And Kikuchi over his last, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, that you go back to, uh, what game was that? The, the Milwaukee game, where he had two runs over five innings. I think it was two solo shots. Uh, or maybe it was one two-run shot. I can't remember what it was. On May 30th. May 30th, June 4th, June 9th, June 15th, June 20th, and today, June 25th, every single start for Kikuchi, less than two earned runs. He has been outstanding, and he's, let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, he's been the most consistent Jays pitcher in that stretch. Better than Barrios, better than Gosman, better than Chris Bassett, and the bullpen day, obviously. So, it's great. Trent Thorne went a clean inning, allowed one hit, and that was it. Bowden France went a clean inning, walked the guy and got a strikeout. That's all she wrote to finish off the ball game. Didn't have to stress out any of the key guys and a really good stuff because you have the off day tomorrow as well to thoroughly enjoy it before you welcome in the San Francisco Giants to town starting on Tuesday night there. With the off day tomorrow, I'm guessing that means Kevin Gosman is going to line up Game 1, Chris Bassett Game 2, and Jose Barrios in Game 3. That's what I'm assuming it's going to be like, but we shall see moving forward. But a really good day for the Blue Jays. And uh, if you look at the standings, I know this team has been up and down. I know they've been miserable to watch at times. But with the win today and the Angels' loss today... The Blue Jays are now one full game in a wild card spot. They are half a game back of the Yankees for the second wild card spot. And yeah, they're sitting five and a half back of the Orioles. But they're right there. Like they're right there. And they just gotta find a way to continue to win ball games and win series. San Francisco's gonna be a tough one. They're they played some really good ball recently. Um, but I believe if you go to today's game, because they were on when I when I checked last. Uh, did they lose today? They lost 5-2 to the Diamondbacks, so if I'm not mistaken, they lost that series. Let me check that right quick for you guys. Uh, they lost that series. No, that's Arizona. So they, no, the Giants won that series, excuse me. Yeah, they're playing some pretty good ball. They, they are playing some pretty good ball. They lost today's game, um, but they've been playing really, really well recently. And for the Blue Jays, look, you got to be ready to go. You're not playing go Oakland on Tuesday. Go out there, find a way to win a series, right? You're now seven games over 500. I think it's 43 and 36. Keep the train moving. We'll see. We'll see what happens, though. But they did their job here. They won the series against Oakland, all right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and the W today, smack the like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the game. Would you like? Would you not like? From today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you guys not done so already. And I will talk to you guys, of course, Jays Edition Game 1 on uh, Tuesday, yeah, t- Tuesday night. And that'll probably be later than usual, but it, or maybe not. I, I don't know how it's going to work, but it will be uploaded on Tuesday night. I can guarantee you guys that it won't be here. It'll be at my girlfriend's place. Uh, just Tuesday's video, though. Wednesday, I'll be back here. All right, so just letting you guys know now, Tuesday, Jays, Giants, 707 first pitch there at Rogers Center. I'm assuming Kevin Gosman's getting the ball for the Blue Jays, all right? So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and the win today. We'll talk to you guys then.